Omega. He's going to revive the work in the, the work that he did in the Alpha Church. We are here as Omega Church. I pray that God, Jesus Christ himself, will revive the work of old Amen. in our midst today. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray that today somebody's heart will be set on fire. Amen. Amen. Somebody's heart will be set yes, on fire. Amen. Amen. And God will come and do only what he said can do. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. We hang here for you. Come and do what you do. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. Set our hands on you. Come and do what you do. Oh, we need a move. We need a move for love.
with our Lord Jesus. Amen. 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 What a beautiful thing to have opportunity and privilege to feast at the Lord's table. To pledge with the word of God. Amen. 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 He's bringing what he has for you, for me, to the table today. Amen. 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 He's bringing those things in store, the food prepared. And the amazing thing, this food was prepared. Amen. Amen. And there's no clue to God. He knows who is going to eat it. Anyways. Amen. But to men, <laughs> to men, you don't even know who is going to eat this food. Mm -hmm. And this food is being prepared by God somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. Amen. Amen. And the food, even the one preparing in it believed that I'm preparing this food for this set of people. But God said, no. This thing that you have been preparing for long is meant for some for some yeah. people yeah. in the kingdom of nowhere. Yeah. What a privilege, God. Yeah. What a wonderful God. Yeah. What a marvelous God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So I said we're going to say a couple of prayers. Amen. Amen. Because before we you know started feasting. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Shout a living hallelujah. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Genesis. Genesis 35. Amen. Amen. Genesis 35. We need a move. Hallelujah. We need a move. Yeah. We need a move of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And something must ignite that move. We need a push. Yeah. We need something to push us to move. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. And from, from verse 1, the Bible says, Then God said to Jacob, Arise, go up to Bethel, and dwell there, and make me an altar there to God, who appeared to you when you fled from the face of Esau, your brother. And verse 2, it says, and Jacob said to his household and to all who were with him, Jacob said to his household and to all who were with him, put away the foreign God that are among you. Purify yourself and change your garment. Verse 3. Then let us, let us arise and go up to Bethel, and I will make an altar there to God. Yeah. Who answered me in the day of my distress, mm -hmm. and has been with me in the day Hallelujah. which I have gone for. So they, in their hand, so they gave Jacob all the foreign gods, amen, amen. which were in the ears and, and the hearing which were in the ears, and Jacob hid them under the spreading tree, which was by shepherd. Amen. 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 The instruction is coming. Amen. God wants his own people to move from where they are. Yeah. He wants them to move from that comfort zone to go to a place called Bethel. Bethel is the house of God. Amen. Amen. I pray that Holy Spirit is coming upon somebody to me. He cause you to rise up. He will cause you to put away all your idols and then you will move Amen. to that better. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.
with cause delay. Yeah. Idol, all those idols, you see? Push them away. Anything can be your own idol. Anything can be my own idol. Put them away. But you know what? Even to put the idol away, you need the strength of God. You need the power of God. We need the fresh move of the Holy Spirit in our life to move to the better. Amen. Amen. I pray God is causing somebody here today to move to your own better. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. To move to your own better. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Simply to even break it down and then we go into prayer. Amen. Is you know, it simply means separation from sin. Amen. Amen. Put away your idol and move to the better, to the house of God. What it simply means is that separate yourself from what? Sin. Amen. Amen. And come and have fellowship with me. Amen. 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 Better means house of God. So it is a secret place of Almighty God. It is a place of intimacy with God. So God wants his people to return to the house of God and dwell there. Amen. Amen. It's simply separation from sin. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Simply separation from sin and then come and have fellowship with me. Come to my secret place. Come and have intimacy with me. Come and return to the house of God and dwell there. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So our prayer today, we may pray for the empowerment of the Holy Spirit for the couple of weeks. Empowerment of the Holy Spirit. What we could not do before, we want to start doing it now. Like the apostles. Not on David. Uh, 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 that wind, that Holy Spirit came upon them. Those things that they could not do before, they came up boldly and they started doing it. Yeah, so yeah. today, those things that we cannot do before, as the Holy Spirit is coming upon us, as the fresh wind of the Holy Spirit yes, will blow yes, in this place and blow over you, yes, we will begin to do it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. So, he's telling you and me, this is another day. Amen. Amen. That the fire of God will restore true worship back. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. True worship. Amen. I mean, true worship. Amen. So, the fire is coming that will restore true worship. Amen. Amen. That we restore true worship. Amen. It will cause us to move, move, move to a place of true worship. Amen. We need that fresh wind. We need the fresh wind of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We need the empowerment of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So we are going to cry out to the Lord. In this meeting today, oh God, Lord, let there be a fresh move of the Holy Spirit. Over me. Over me. In the house of the church of God. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray. In the name of Jesus, I receive a fresh move of the Holy Spirit. I receive the empowerment of the Holy Spirit. To put away every eye of To put away every eye of So that I can move to the house of God. There I can raise altar, altar of worship, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. So, O oh God, we pray today, O oh Lord, that you come, Lord, come, Lord, have your way, O oh God, in this place, O oh Lord, have your way in my life, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray, O oh God, today, O oh God. Let your word repair my heart, O oh God. Let your word repair my heart, O oh God. Let your word renew my mind, O oh God. Let your word, O oh God, restore me back to a true worship. A true worship. True worship, O oh God. The Bible says now is the time that the believer to worship God in truth and in the spirit. Lord. Send down that path like the day of Pentecost again, O oh God. Lord, send down that power again, O oh God. And restore us back, O oh God. 
bless, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Lord, we bless your name. We give you glory, Lord. We honor you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The power is coming to destroy every idol in the mighty name of Jesus. You shall receive power. Power to raise altar for God in the name of Jesus. Power today to destroy every demonic and satanic altar in the mighty name of Jesus. Every satanic altar, every demonic altar, every ungodly altar that is raised on your behalf, that is raised and is working against you, I pray, I decree and I declare that fire of the Holy Ghost is coming oh God, through His world today and it will destroy every ungodly altar in the name of Jesus Christ. And as for you and me, the fire is coming upon me, the fire is coming upon you to raise an altar for God in the mighty name of Jesus. If you believe that, shout a living Amen. 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 That fire is coming. Amen. To put away every foreign God. Amen. Every foreign God that is ruling in our land. Amen. Every foreign God that is ruling in our ministry. Amen. Every foreign God that is ruling in every family. Amen. We pray today marks their end. Amen. The fire of the Holy Ghost will terminate their activities Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Every ungodly activity, every fleshly activity. Every canality, the fire of the Holy Ghost Amen. is coming upon them and it will consume them by fire Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Every activity that is not of God yes. is going on in your life, in my life. Amen. Every activity that is demonic, that is satanic, that is not sent by God. Activity, activity that not be terminate. Every ungodly activity in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That not be removed. Every foreign God in our life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Lord, we bless your name. Take over, Lord. Amen. Take over, Lord. Amen. In this place, in this meeting, oh God, take over. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We come against every territorial power. In Jesus, Jesus. 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 They recognize people. Yes. They recognize men and women of God. Yes. They recognize the children of yes. God. And when they recognize them, they want to claim their territory. Yes. And how do they do that? By stealing away the attention of people. Yes. By distracting them, mm -hmm. they will, you know, one way or the other, take you away. Instead of receiving something, you are away. That is territorial power, mm -hmm. claiming the territory. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. That nothing will happen. But we pray that the fire of the Holy Ghost is coming upon every territorial spirit. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Every territorial spirit. Amen. Every familiar spirit. Amen. Amen. Every principalities and power against the gathering of God in today. We pray that the fire of the Holy Ghost Amen. will bring them into peace. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Glass ceiling shall be shattered. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Every glass ceiling shall be shattered. In the name of Jesus. And we will receive our blessings. Amen. Amen. And our life will not remain the same. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen and amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I've got the blessing to come and be worship Hallelujah. for five minutes. Amen. Then we proceed. Hallelujah. Amen. amen.
Yeah.
It's two different names. Right? <laughs> Thank you so much for this great invitation to be here with you. I have to give honor to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to each of you who are here. This is a very serious moment in time and history. And to my brothers and sisters uh, in Africa, Sierra Leone, uh, Guinea, to my friends in Nigeria and Ghana, and to all of my brothers and sisters in the United States, to uh, my church, Servants for Christ Baptist Church, Servants for Christ Ministries, grace be unto you and peace from God our Father Amen. and the Lord Jesus Christ and blessings upon this house. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Amen. As I said that, I listened to the choir sing and do songs of worship and praise. My spirit, I could feel the fresh fire. Hallelujah. Amen. That, that is the theme of our, of our, of our conference, Hallelujah. Fresh Fire. Fresh fire. Amen. And we've been getting fresh fire, even from the very beginning. Mm. Our conference started on Friday, and on Thursday, while we were sitting down, I think that the Archbishop and some of the bishops who were present set us up. Apostle John and myself were in the office doing a television broadcast. All of a sudden, Apostle John went out in the spirit. And so I was sitting there with everyone else. And then there was a prophecy done on me. I was totally shocked and surprised. And I went out in the spirit. That was the beginning of our convention in the office after we had done a television broadcast, and that was fresh fire. Amen. And I was just so thankful and happy to God for that fresh fire. And then the next day on Friday, we had a powerful sermon from one of our bishops, and the fire just came down. Amen. The next day, you were there, and the fire came down. Today the fire is coming down. Amen. 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 And I'm, I'm just happy that the fire is going to come down in here mm -hmm. as well. Amen. I'm, I have expectation. Amen. Some of these uh, sermons that we hear, people get very emotional and traumatized. My job is to create some excitement and to spiritualize mm -hmm. that when people leave here today that as you said pastor the spirit of God will be upon them and they will know what is needed and what needs to be done mm -hmm. can I come down off the pulpit and get emotional and excited yes mm -hmm. but what I want to do with the message that God has given to me today I simply want to give this information out in a way that you can understand it, in a way you can digest it, in a way you can take this home with you to your family and your friends and everyone around you. That, that is my purpose. And we're just going to pray to God that he will do the, the baptism of fire Amen. in you. Amen. Uh, let's bow for a word of prayer. Lord Jesus, we thank you today for your love and peace. We thank you for your patience, for this great opportunity to be here in our life. Mm. I had no idea where I was going. The Holy Spirit, you have led me to this place at this time for the people of Ireland, for the people of the world. Now, dear God, we beg pray and plead that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart will be acceptable in your sight. My Lord, who is my strength and my redeemer. Bless this house of worship and all that are gathered here with a special anointing, a special consecration. The children that are here, give them the guidance, the courage to move forward with boldness and power. The adults 
that are here. Amen. Allow them to continue to sustain the legacy and the mission that you have given to them to move forward. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. your grace we pray. Amen. 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 As the pastor said, when I was leaving the United States of America, God placed this sermon in my spirit. I said, wow, really? You're going to place this sermon in my spirit. And when I got to Amsterdam Airport, I sat down at a table. We had a seven-hour layover. And I started to write this sermon out. I started to write it out. And when I got to Ireland two days ago, or when I got to Ireland, not two days ago, but on the 14th or whatever day it was, Friday. Friday. I started writing this sermon to complete it two days ago. And sometimes you get a message from God and you, you wonder, uh, is God going to let you preach or deliver that message? And you pray that he will because God is just so faithful that he knows who needs to hear whatever message it is that he's going to deliver to his people. And so the message that, that has been prepared today is for you. Amen. This is not a repeat message that I preached five years ago. Mm -hmm. It's not a message that uh, came up out of the clear blue air. Mm -hmm. This message is for you, Amen. seated here in this room. Amen. And the people of Ireland and the people of the world. Mm -hmm. I'm just so blessed. I'm so excited to be an ambassador for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The title of the message is The Mission. Very simple. The Mission. But before we do that, I, I, I really want to uh, accent some of the things and the theme of our conference. On behalf of our Archbishop Michael C. Turner, our host, Pastor O. Bello, your pastor, and all the people who have come here, we greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. The theme is fresh fire. Fresh fire. And we heard the songs about the, the Holy Ghost and the power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit, not an it, a person. In the triune God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And when we talk about the Holy Spirit, a lot of times people get a little confused about the Holy Spirit. And when we talk about fresh fire, I just want to briefly, and I'm going to try to rush this along as fast as I can because I don't want to take too much time of your listening time, but I want you to get what I'm saying, and that's why I'm moving slow. At this moment, when we talk about fire, 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 it is an instance, an instance of uh, combustion, explosion. It is uh, fuel or other material when it is ignited and combined with oxygen, giving off light, heat, and flame. It's combustible. And when you want to receive this fresh fire, your body should be moved to explode inside to change you in a way that you have never been changed before. Yeah. In 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 7, amen, somebody, the Bible uh, declares that, uh, uh, that the genuineness of your faith mm. being much more precious than that of gold Though tried with fire. And see, when we put our faith in place, God can begin to work on us and refine us and put us through the test to, of the genuineness of our faith. Then when we go through the fire, that all of the impurities, all of the sin, the corruption, the chaos, and the confusion, uh, melancholy, gloom, doom, and despair, all those things 
can be burnt off of you and left in the fire and you come out yeah. pure. Amen. Fresh fire. Amen. And your spirit is regenerated. Mm -hmm. And you become a new creature. Amen. You become a new person Hallelujah. in God. Hallelujah. Fresh fire. I'm going to come back to the fresh fire in a second. But right now, I just want to briefly uh, review some of the work and the power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit, which is not my sermon. Amen, somebody. Amen. The Holy Spirit has always been active in the world of God. In the beginning of creation, the Holy Spirit was present. In the book of Genesis, the Bible declares to us in chapter 1, verse 1, that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the Spirit of God moved upon the surface of the deep, the Holy Spirit. Present with God in creation, the Holy Spirit has always been present with God throughout all of man's existence. The Bible indeed declares to us that the Holy Spirit is the originator of supernatural abilities, the giver of artistic skills. When you sit there and you sing and you play the drums and, and, and you sing the melodious voice that God has given to you and you play the Congo, God, the Holy Spirit, is the giver Amen. of those artistic skills. Mm. The Holy Spirit, fresh fire. Mm. He's the giver of, indeed, the source and power of strength. Mm. That's why we pray to God for the power of and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Because when we are faltering in our witness, when we fall a little bit short, mm. the Holy Spirit gives us remembrance of all things. And hallelujah, Lord yeah. Jesus. That's why the Bible yeah. teaches us in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 30, a do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, whereby you are sealed yeah. until the day of redemption. Mm. Mm. Fresh fire. Not only that, my brothers and sisters, the Holy Spirit is the inspiration of prophecy. Yeah. We see prophets, and that, and that scripture can, uh, can be found in 1 Samuel chapter 19, verses 20 and 23. Not only that, my brothers and sisters, the Holy Spirit is the, the mediation of God's message, according to Micaiah 3, 3. 3, 8, my brothers and sisters. Uh, and the Holy Spirit, amen, somebody, amen. Uh, cleanses the heart for true holy living. In other words, my brothers and sisters, you cannot get along, you cannot be moved mm -hmm. without the power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. You have to get to know who the Holy Spirit is. The Holy Spirit delivers us and seals us. The Holy Spirit ministers to us. The Holy Spirit brings all things to our remembrances. I remember when we're about to go off track mm -hmm. and do the wrong thing. The Holy Spirit says to us, you should not do that. Mm -hmm. Got to get to know the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters. In the New Testament, the Holy Spirit declares the truth about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, according to the book of John. Amen. John chapter 16, verses 13 and 14. Amen, my brother and sister. Amen. The Holy Spirit endures us with power. In other words, the Holy Spirit makes intercession for us in words of that we cannot utter. The Bible is very clear on the work of the Holy Spirit. And I believe that as we pray to God and we ask God Almighty to give us power and anointing on what it is that we should do, that God the Father the Son will provide us through the anointing and the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the Holy Spirit strengthens the inner being. Amen. According Amen. to Ephesians chapter 3, verse 16 and 18. Amen. He strengthens us on the inside. Yes. And so that, that, that gives us some uh, context. That gives us uh, uh, some uh, perspective on what the Holy Spirit does. And when we talk about that fresh power, there's no way in this earth, in heaven, that we can receive fresh fire unless it comes through the power mm. of God yeah. and the anointing of the Holy Spirit mm. to consecrate you. Mm -hmm. 
I pray God's consecration upon you. Amen. I pray his consecration Amen. upon each of you. I pray God's anointing Amen. and power upon Amen. each of you that you will receive the anointing and power. Amen. A greater power than what I have. The power that God Almighty has for you. I pray and ask God to bless you to receive the anointing of the Holy Spirit to understand the word of God that as it comes down through you, that God will give you, amen, somebody. Amen. That God will give you a burden. Amen. A burden to go forth into all the world. Amen. And what Jesus said in his resurrected state after he had already gone through the cross and paid the price and was resurrected into the newness of life in the book of Acts 1 8, God says, Go ye therefore. Yes, yes. To all who I pray that God will give you that burden. Amen. That you will go out, praise God, give him all the glory, all the praise for all that he's done. And some of you, some of you will run into a situation, uh, and that's, that's really what I want to talk about very briefly today, is the Apostle Paul. This is the message that the Lord God has given to me to give to you. The book of Acts is a book of transition. The book of Acts is a book where Jesus has said in the book of Matthew chapter 28 verses 18, 19, and 20 again, go ye therefore to all the world, teaching and preaching the gospel. And Jesus said that lo, I will always be with you even until the end of the age. Jesus gave his commandment to the apostles to do this in his resurrected state after he had died and was resurrected and came and talked to them and said, do this, do this. And the apostles went out and did it. They implemented Jesus' command that we call the Great Commission. They implemented it in the book of Acts. Jesus told them in the Gospels, go out and do this. They implemented it in the book of Acts. And Paul, often called Saul, was one of those who went forth to declare and proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ. Y'all stay with me for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. And as they went out to prepare the gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, Paul who was one of the persecutors of the church, Paul, who had letters from the Pharisees, the Sadducees, the scribes, and the Essenes, letters to condemn those who were called people of the way, condemn those who had professed to be Christians, professed Christians, followers of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He had letters from the Sanhedrin the Jewish council, to go forth and to kill Christians, to persecute them, to make them take back their Christianity, that the word of God would not go forth into all the world. And here he is, my brothers and sisters, in the book of Acts 26. You can read it in your spare time. And in this book, what we see is in Acts 26 at the 12th Verse, these words, as Paul is giving an account for his Christianity, he says, while thus occupied as I journeyed to Damascus with authority and commission from the chief priests, at midday, O king, Along the road, I saw a light from heaven brighter than the sun shining around me, those who journeyed with me. And when we had all had fallen to the ground, I heard a voice speaking to me saying in the Hebrew language, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? It is harder for you to kick against the goats. So I said, who are you, Lord? And he said, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. Listen to me, people. But rise and stand on your feet. 
For I have appeared to you for this purpose, to make you a minister and a witness both of the things which you have seen and of the things which I will yet reveal to you. It reminds me of the book of Revelation. I will deliver you from the Jewish people as well as from the Gentiles to whom I now send you. You see, my brothers and sisters, what Paul was receiving was some fresh, some fresh fire. There are many people in the world today who are confound and confused about their mission. Many people don't want to take on the burden of the responsibility and in going out into the world and ministering to people who through no fault of their own have been misguided, misled, abused, persecuted, and don't want to follow, amen somebody, don't want to follow the ordinances, the statutes, and the commands of God. Here's Paul executing the Great Commission. And Paul is being told to go forth and do the opposite of what he's been doing. He's been killing Christians. Stood there. I heard someone say, stood there while Stephen, amen, amen. was being stoned to death. For his witness and testimony, and Stephen said, I see the heaven open up, and I see my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ standing at the right hand of God. Hallelujah. It's hard. God told Paul, it's hard to kick against the prick. It's hard to kick against the gold. It's hard to kick against the the will of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the mission that he has for your life. Mm. It's hard not to go out and do uh. what God has called you to do. Amen. And uh, my brother and sister, sometimes it, it, it becomes a real challenge because people oftentimes uh, will look at us and they'll say that, that, that we're crazy, we don't understand, and why are we following this Jesus? And what I've heard here, I, and, 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 and since I've been in Ireland, is that there's a great apostasy, a great falling away from the church mm -hmm. because of the conduct of, 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 of some of God's leaders. The, some of the priests have abused God's children. Mm -hmm. Brothers and sisters, We have to do something about that. Amen. We have to come back to God, regardless oh, yeah. of how we've been damaged, yes. hurt, how we've been impacted in a negative way. Mm -hmm. Because that's not a God. That's of Satan. That's of the wickedness. Mm -hmm. So we, we must come back to God, yes. regardless yes. of how much we've been persecuted, mm -hmm. no matter how much we lie, no matter how much we sin, mm -hmm. no matter how hard it is for it is hard to kick against the goal. Somebody yeah. say it's hard to kick oh. against the goal. Somebody yeah. say it's hard to kick against yeah. the word of God. It's hard. Yes. Amen. It's hard. It's hard. Thanks. You see, uh, uh, my brothers and sisters, we, 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 we must recognize uh, 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 what our purpose is in life. Uh, uh, we're not just here. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. We're not just here to get up in the morning, go to work, mm -hmm. or go to school. Uh, our sole purpose in life is to praise and worship uh, our Lord and yeah. Savior, Jesus Christ, yeah. uh, day in and day out. That is our purpose for existence. Yeah. Our purpose is to praise God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. It's the only yes. purpose that we have in life. Mm. The only purpose that we have in life. Mm. Knowing that, my brother and sister, God told Paul, your purpose is to open their eyes mm. in order to turn from darkness mm. to light, mm. from the power of Satan to God. Mm. Our purpose is to in the International Evangelism College of Bishops and Ministers. Our purpose is to depopulate Sheol. Mm. 
to depopulate hell, to depopulate the lake of fire, and, and, and to populate heaven. Hallelujah. That's our purpose. Mm -hmm. That's why we're here. Yes. That's why we go forth in the same situation that Paul went into. Paul talks about next point is his journey. His journey as serving as a suffering servant for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. His journey of uh, not to understand that his life is not going to be like your life, a perfect life. Mm -hmm. uh, you're not going to live in the luxurious lifestyle oh, of many people that yes. you are witness to. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes you're going to have to go into a foreign land and witness to people who don't have any uh, social economic development yes. and people yes. uh, that are poor, yes. poor, poor. You're going to have to go minister to those uh, that are rich. You're going to have to go minister to your friends or to your family and everyone else. But in all of that, mm. God has told Paul the things that he's going to have to suffer. Yeah. Mm. And after having received your journey, don't turn around and run away <laughs> because you don't understand. Mm. I'm standing here today as a bishop elect mm -hmm. at 68 years old have done a lot of things in life, great career, in federal service, down of the church, pastoring over 18 years, 25 years in the ministry. Beautiful wife, Patricia, son, Malcolm. Hallelujah. They have gone through so much, have visited various parts of the world. Mm -hmm. And now here I'm at retirement age, mm -hmm. and God put me over here in Ireland mm -hmm. to minister in Africa to minister. And I'm saying, why do you do this now? Wow. No man knows the hour when God will move on your life. Mm. No man knows the hour when the fire of God yes. will come down on you. Mm. No man knows how God is going to move you. Mm. No man knows the path that you're going to have to take. Mm. I had such a small church and still do, smaller mm. than this church, and I'm wondering how in the world can I be a bishop elect? And God says that we have to wait for him in due season. When we think that we should be more than we are, mm -hmm. God says not yet. Mm -hmm. When we think that we should be going different places where we want to go, God says not yet. When we think that we ought to have better economic situations in our lives, God says not yet. When we think we ought to be somebody important or someone big, God says not yet. Not yet because the fire of God is going to come down. God is a consuming God. Yeah. It's interesting that once Paul was, was going through, he talked about his journey in the book of Corinthians chapter 11, verses 22 through 30. I love it, I love it, and I thank God for allowing me to come here and do this today. Amen. Paul was supposed to open up the eyes of the people, but lately, in his journey of being a suffering servant for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, Paul says that he became all things to all people. Mm. My brothers, does that mean that you can't choose? You can't choose to go and witness to the rich. Mm. You have to go and witness to the whoremonger. You have to go and witness to the adulterer. You have to go and witness to the little child. You have to go and witness to the bank robber and the murderer, and you can't judge them because if you were to judge someone's situation or someone's state because of who you think you are, amen, somebody. Amen. amen. Then you have to think about that God did not judge you yes. for who you are. Yes. We have to forgive mm. and show the love of Christ to everyone. Yeah. I don't see myself as bigger than anyone in this room. Mm -hmm. I just have a burden on me yeah. that I must go forth and preach and proclaim yeah. the unadulterated gospel to God's people and ask God to bless me yeah. as I go forward in my infirmity, in my weakness, yeah. to help me and strengthen me. And what Paul is saying as he's talking about his journey, 
Paul says these things. He says, uh, hallelujah, are they Israelites? Uh, uh, are they the seed of Abraham? Are they ministers of Christ? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He says, are they laborers? He says he's more abundant in stripes and, 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 and above measure. He's been in prison. Hallelujah. He's been in prison more frequently. He's been in death more often. And Paul goes on to say, five times huh, he received 40 stripes of minus one. Hey, uh, three times he was beaten with rods. Amen, somebody. Amen. Uh, once he was stoned. Amen. Uh, uh, three times he was shipwrecked. Amen. Amen. Uh, a night and day he was in the deep. Amen. And then he goes on to say that not only that have I had to suffer these things as a result of going out and ministering. He says that he's been in so many different perils in life. Amen. He's been in perils of water. Huh? He's been in perils of robbers. Huh? He's been in perils of his own countrymen. He's been in perils of the Gentiles. Huh? He's been in perils in the city. He's been in perils in the wickedness. He's been in perils in the sea. He's been in perils. Perils among false brothers when those who you love and trust they come, they backstab you, and they talk about you and say all oh, manner of evil toward you. Yes. Mm. Amen. Your mission. Mm. Your mission. If the fresh fire comes. Hallelujah. If the fire comes down on you and empowers you mm. to move forward. Mm. No matter what this brother say. No matter what this brother, no matter what sister say, when God gives you the mission mm. to move forward, step out and move. Amen. Move. Hallelujah. Get in, only need 300 people because all the other people around uh, did not have the ability or the desire to serve God. Do you have the desire? Amen. The desire to serve God. Yes. To feel that fresh fire come down on your life. And stop playing. My mother would say to me, playtime is over. Nah. Mm. Yeah. Do you have that desire today? Uh -huh. Yes. You want that fresh fire? Yes, Lord. There's a price that comes with the fresh fire. Mm. That means, my brother and sister, that you have to get up and do Amen. something. Amen. That means you have to suffer long. Mm. Uh, that means that, as Paul said, that you will be in weariness and toil. You will have sleepless nights. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, and now that you will be hungry and you will be thirsty. Mm -hmm. Amen, somebody. Amen. And you will have to fast. Amen, somebody. Amen. You have to be in cold mm -hmm. and naked. Mm -hmm. When you go out and want that fresh fire to fall, mm -hmm. there's a price that comes with it. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be all uh, hunky dory. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be all roses. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be all caviar. Mm -hmm. You have to do like your pastor. You have to go out and create an orphanage. Hallelujah. You have to go out and help God's people. Mm -hmm. You have to go out and teach. You have to go out and do so much. In, 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 in other words, uh, when you see these people out here, they uh, laughing and joking and talking about who they are. Mm. Paul says this to us. If I must boast about anything. Okay, so what I have, I got a home, I got six academic degrees, doctorate, three masters, bachelor's and associate degree, I got three cars, beautiful wife, church, I've been a professor for over 20 years, I've been a vice president, of the seminary, executive vice president, all the other vice presidents. None of these things. Thank God for them. Mm -hmm. But what Paul is saying, and also Solomon agrees, is all vanity. Yeah. All vanity. Paul goes on to say that if I must boast, about anything. Hallelujah. If I want to say I'm this or that, it's irrelevant. The only thing that I can boast about is my infirmities. Hallelujah. Mm. My service to Christ. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I have nothing to boast about yes. except my service to Christ. Because only what we do 
For Christ will last. That's, right. hmm. That's it. Some of you ought to just kind of rethink your strategy a little bit and mm -hmm. where you might be just a little bit short. Pick up a piece. Mm -hmm. Feel that fresh fire coming upon you, upon your temple, and move out. You heard the song today, move. Mm -hmm. God will move. Push. Yeah. Move out in a way that you have never moved out before. Move out into all of Ireland. I hope Ireland of that yes. you're watching today. I yes. hope Ireland of that you will get a, a yes. new, a fresh anointing yes. upon yes. your life. Yes. I'm praying yes. Ireland of yes. that those who have fallen yes. away from the church because yes. of the abuse by the Pope. I'm hoping and praying of that you will uh, see the light of day. Yes. Don't turn your back on our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Come to God, feel that fresh fire, get up, move, Amen. do something. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. And uh, Amen. 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 I think I'm going to preach as long as up. I didn't get to the second finger. Amen. 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 I'm not going to hold you. But I just want to say that all of us have to consider that we are servants of Christ, Amen. we are stewards of the word of God. God has trusted us with the oracles, the mysteries of God. He has trusted us with. And the things that we know are for us to know. The things that we don't know can be found in the book of Deuteronomy 29, 29, which tells us, amen, amen. that the things that are unknown the mysteries belong to God. Mm. And what God has revealed to us is for us and our children. Amen, somebody. Amen. And what God expects us to do, uh, once we have the word of God inside of us, uh, and once we know the word of God, then we are accountable as ambassadors and stewards for God. Uh, we cannot run around and say amen uh, uh, that I no longer know or I was not told about the word of God because God gives every man uh, a measure of faith. God gives us the ability to fulfill the promises that he has for each one of our lives. I'm here today uh, to commit the fire of God and pray God blessing upon each one of you, my brothers and sisters. And, and not only that, I just want to talk about the uh, the fresh the, the, the fresh fire in your situation. Amen. Amen. Don't come back to Paul. Amen, somebody. Amen. Uh, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, he, he cleansed a leper with that fresh fire coming down on that leper when he got cleansed. Uh, when he cleansed the ten lepers, that was fresh fire uh, coming down Hallelujah. on that person that came back and said, thank you, uh, Lord Jesus. Uh, when God raised Jairus' daughter from the grave, that was fresh fire uh, coming down. When Lazarus came walking forth from the tomb, uh, that was fresh fire. The great catch of fish of the 3,000 and 4,000, that was fresh fire. And what about you? Has God mentored to your heart? Has God sealed you, healed you, convinced you, rebuked you? That's fresh fire. Has God told you to go forth in boldness and courage and power? That's fresh fire. And you hear the word coming from your pastor Sunday after Sunday? That's fresh fire. God wants you to consume the fresh fire and move forward with all boldness, courage, and power and go into the whole wide world proclaiming, professing that Jesus Christ is Lord. Yeah. I'm wondering uh, when Jesus Christ healed the Gentile woman's daughter, was that fresh fire? Mm. I wonder when Jesus healed the epileptic boy, was that fresh fire? I wonder when Jesus healed the two blind men and the deaf mute, was that fresh, fresh fire? fire? I wonder, my brother and sisters, hallelujah, mm. when Jesus raised the widow's son at nine, was that fresh fire? And I'm wondering, hallelujah, Lord Jesus. When Jesus turned the water into wine, the first miracle in the Bible was that fresh fire. Mm. Jesus wants you today to experience the glory and the majesty of his great love Amen. for each one of you. Mm -hmm. God wants you to be encouraged mm -hmm. to know that it's not over yet. Mm. It's only the beginning. Yes, Amen. I'm standing here in Ireland mm. at 68 years old ready to go get some fresh fire from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I'll, I'll leave you with this because I don't want to hold you too long, my brothers and sisters. 
But I just want to say that uh, in, in Paul's final exhortation, Paul gives us a very good exit statement. Paul says to us, and he's saying to you, through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ today, and you heard it before, it's not anything new. Mm. Paul is saying, I have fought the good fight. Mm. All the times I ask myself, have all of us fought the good fight? Mm. Did we do anything, Pastor? Mm. Did we raise our hand? Did we turn when we should have gone forward? Amen. 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 Not only that, he said, I have kept the faith. Later for me is a crown of righteousness. Paul tells us in the final exhortation as he's about to be delivered up for the word of God. He tells us several things to go in power. He tells us to preach the word in season, out of season. The Bible teaches us that every time that we have a moment to profess the honor, daughter, raise the word of God. Mm. I tried to shut my church down three times. Three. Because I say the people don't come. Mm. They don't tie. They don't, they don't do anything. They won't play the instruments. And I'm tired of it. Mm. Don't want to be bothered with it been doing it 18 years and the people still don't want to hear the word of God and more importantly they don't want to acknowledge or act mm. upon the word of God mm. and God says not so you go and you go and you go until you can go no more mm. and that's the message to go forth in power Amen. on your mission Amen. I want you all to come to the altar that I might pray with you Amen. today Ask God blessings upon you. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to pass it back over to the pastor of this great church. And you know what I see in this church? Mm -hmm. I see this, this room. The pastor said that they're leasing out the space here. I see you taking over this building. Mm -hmm. And even something greater than this. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Because it's not in our season as ministers and pastors. Mm -hmm. It's not up to us. I've been waiting for a new building for 18 years to move, to expand. But what has God done? God has given me the opportunity and the privilege to work in social media. And now the social media is all over the world. I'm still in a small building. Social media is all over the world with God's blessing. Yeah. People watching us right now in Africa. You can look on that right now. You can see people from Africa, see people from the United States, you see people from all over the world that are watching this service right here, right now. And so I want to thank you all just for giving me that great opportunity. Could I have gotten down on the floor, went back and forth and hoop and holler? Yes! I want you to hear the word of God and not be, and not be traumatized by it. When you leave here today, at least you can say, I learned one thing from that pastor. I learned one thing from that bishop. And you have learned, let's bow forward and pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this great church. Thank you, Lord. We now, Lord, ask your blessing upon your people. Amen. We ask you, Lord, to bless them in a way that is seen, a way that's unseen, a way that will glorify you, my God Almighty, in Jesus' name. You know the needs of these, your people. And Lord God, we ask you in the name of Jesus to give them the spiritual fire that they need, Lord oh God, in order to field or purpose and the ministry of what you have for each one of them to do, Lord God. Move me out of the way, Holy Spirit. Uh, bring the fire down uh, that they may see the true light of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And as Paul, allow your people here in Ireland uh, to go forth with boldness, with courage and power Amen. to minister to your people, dear Amen. God, and uh, empower them and do them with power from on high, unlike anything that they have never seen before. The Lord God, they have heard the journey of Paul. They have heard the perils of what they must do uh, in order to go forth and witness to the young, the small, the Greek, the Gentile, the Jews, and everyone else that will come under the sound of their voice in the mighty name of our Lord and Son of Jesus. Oh, God.
we ask you to bless the Lord, to consecrate, so that they may feel the fire. And when they step out into the room, somebody say amen. So that they can move forward with boldness, dear God. But that they will move forward in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Yahweh. Hallelujah, Lord God. Give them the peace and the comfort. Hallelujah, Lord God. Allow them to stand fast in the face of fear, in the face of defeat, in the face of those who oppose them and persecute them. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. And God, them right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, with fresh fire, with fresh fire. Give them the fresh fire. That they can do what they need to do, Lord God, on your behalf. Here in Ireland, the devil of the Ireland, uh, to the uttermost parts of the world, uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord Savior, bless the Lord, consecrate, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, glory, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Grace of God rest be upon you. Thank you, Pastor, for this great opportunity today to come here to your church and to deliver this prophetic word from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. God bless you. Amen. Bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord.
Lord. Hallelujah. Let's bring back our offering and begin to speak to it right now. Speak to that offering. According to the word of God that we heard today, we pray for the fresh fire to fall upon us in the name of Jesus. As we give our offering today, my friends. Let us begin to experience fresh fire. Fire. Amen. Amen. Any area fresh of our life. In any area of our life, fresh yes. fire. Begin to pray and fire. declare yes. for that offering this hour. Fresh as we to give. Mm. Let our life begin to receive fresh power. In, in our health. In, our health. In, our in your marriage. Yes, yes. In your finances. In your marriage. In fresh fire. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Begin to pray to that offering this morning. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.